What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Dummy of the week. Indeed, indeed. It is the welcome return of Dummy of the Week. Yes, indeed. Now, um, there was a lot to go over in the last round, fellas. A lot of nonsense that was said by a lot of pundits and commentators out there. And I should just say, if you haven't heard the podcast, we don't slag off individuals for who they are as people or whatever else. Fundamentally, if you said something stupid and we've heard it, you're copping a call out. And I think that's pretty fair. We attack the comments. We don't attack the person. A couple of them... A couple of interesting gaffes that's uh, no pun uh, that's been uh, being spat out by some commentators. I just want to um, give a shout out to Anthony Hudson. Uh, he keeps saying Fogarty instead of uh, Fogarty. Uh, Fogarty. Do you take your dog for a walk? Apparently. Uh, for, uh, he said the gold. C- I can't say the word. It's you know it's a family show. See you next show. Tuesdays. Yeah, he did. He said that. That was amusing. And uh, Wayne said it as well. He did. Uh, he also said the F word when Sean Darcy kicked a goal last week. Did you see that? He's Darcy getting, went back and kicked the goal for free. And, and Hutto's there. And yeah, and just went for it. It was great. I've, it was I've, I've got to give Hutto. Hutto's gotten give, real loose. I've, I've got to <laughs> yes. give Hutto an, another one as well. Yeah. He keeps calling Nick Cox young Cox. <laughs> the like other that. day on the broadcast, I don't know if anyone else picked up on it, yeah. but I heard it. And yeah. he said, I really like <laughs> young Cox. <laughs> Hutto. What a lord. Please, for the love of God, stop. It is not cool. <laughs> I love that. Will they continue throughout Cox's career to become old Cox, though? Well, I don't know, might. I like mature Cox. That's what he's yeah. going to say. Uh, Jared oh. Healy said uh, Jack Frost at least twice instead of Stan Frost in the... Uh, sorry, I just said Stan Frost. There you go. In the Hawthorne game. Uh, BT rolling with uh, Salem. Christian Salem for the Ds. That wounded me, that one. Mm-hmm. That one wounded me. But this one here, fellas, and I've got a rap sheet on this individual... <laughs> <clears throat> in the Crows versus North Melbourne game, uh, Darcy Fogarty was mistaken for Lachlan Murphy. Mm-hmm. So Murphy, who's about two foot two, went up for a mark. Very similar. It was, called, it was referred to as Darcy Fogarty. Um, McAdam was also labelled as Fogarty at one point. Uh, this individual stated that Murphy was going for a goal with his non-preferred left. Uh, is he going to make it? He's a left footer. Uh, made the comment, this individual, Texas now on the bench as he was running into the 50 to contest for a mark. So uh, that was amazing. Uh, referred to Ben McKay as Harry McKay. Uh, <laughs> the score was 13 to 25, which is a difference of 12. 12. Thank yeah. you. And said, and Adelaide are leading by 11 here, which is uh, <laughs> quick maths on point. Well, did he mean by at least 11? You say he. You say he. You've given the game away. Uh, Brody Smith was called Bailey Smith. At one point, uh, Billy Frampton was referred to as Billy Francis by this individual. Uh, uh, Kyron Hayden was referred to as Kane Turner. Uh, Taron Thomas was referred to as Aiden Bonar and also Taron Thomas. That was that was yeah. like the <laughs> pandemic though. Once one person said it, it everyone. just went, could not be stopped. Uh, this person also referred to Jaden Stevenson as being a rookie in his second game. <laughs> does, this, does this person watch... AFL. This person is Kelly Underwood. Now, look, I've got no issue with a, with a female or anyone else, with non-traditional backgrounds, whatever you want to call it, commentating football. Fine, go. If you've got something to say, you're lively, energetic, you know the game, go for it. I what, don't care. What we do have an issue with is letting Make-A-Wish kids do the commentary. <laughs> why would you... She may as well... Why not go and commentate like a Europa League game or something like that? Because she's probably got the, uh, the same level of knowledge about the players playing there as what she did on the weekend. Like, that well, was... Ju- like, how, how do you mistake anyone for Fogarty? <laughs> He's a very distinctive individual. How do you not know this is Jaden Stevenson's third year of football? I mean, I, it was stunning. It, the gaffes just kept coming. So look, Kel, love. No, no harm in you doing what you're doing. But for God's sake, just, just pick up a footy record, it, please. Step it up. Just read through the team sheets before you sit down to commentate the game because that was just, oh, my Lord. Go to bed, please, please. I had to get that one off the chest. 